Look at that, dude. Look at how much smoke. Oh my goodness. Go ahead and turn it down. Yo, yo, yo. What is up, guys? Nick Nakai here. Let's Drift Media. Thank you guys for coming back to the channel. It's the first time here. Please hit that subscribe button. So, all right, so on today's episode, we are going to be doing a video review on the Ansel S3000 Portable Smoke Leak Detector. Uh, I must say, this thing is pretty awesome. So normally at the dealership life, I really use the smoke tester for evap leaks. That's like probably like 100% of the time I'm gonna pull out the smoke machine. So it's nice to have this little bad boy because this thing puts out a lot of smoke. It's super easy to use and it's really just plug and play and you're good to go. And it's nice to have my own versus having to look around in the shop where the heck is the smoke tester at and then pull that big machine around versus just kind of hooking this on the hood and you're good to go. But you could also use a smoke machine to look for exhaust leaks, uh, intake leaks, vacuum leaks, stuff like that. So I'll show you guys a couple examples in a second and you guys can determine if it's something that you would like to add to your tool arsenal, but I'm pretty satisfied with it. I would have purchased it if they had not sent it to me. So a huge shout out to Ansel. I'll go ahead and leave the product link in the description down below so you guys can check it out on Amazon if you guys are interested in ordering it. So, so yeah, this is pretty much what you get. And if you've ever worked in a shop or anything and had a smoke machine, you'll realize that this thing is a lot smaller than the big fat shop tool you guys have around. So go ahead and unravel it right here. All right, so you got this nice hose right here that really just screws on right to the bottom. Pretty decent in length. And then the little cone fitting you guys know so you can shove into vacuum hoses, PCV hoses, purge valve hoses, you know, everything to do a smoke test. Over here you got the power cables, which is pretty decent in length. But if you were to be running uh, a smoke test on the exhaust. I'm not too sure if that'll reach, but we'll find out because maybe with the length of the power cable plus the vacuum hose or the hose, it might be enough to reach the exhaust pipe. So yeah, the line just screws right onto there. That's the put port. And right here on the bottom, you have the power supply port. And then we'll just hook this up to the 12 volt battery, which is pretty convenient. Coming over here, we have the fill port. This is where you fill in the solution. The kit does not come with uh, the oil you need, so you either need to use baby oil or mineral oil to uh, fill this bad boy up. But it really does not take that much liquid. So right there you can see the gauge, min, max, let you know when you're running dry. So coming to the front of the product, we got a nice hook right here so you can really just hang it on a hood prop. We have our pressure gauge right here. So once the air compressor that's built into the system, which is really nice that you don't have to run shop air, it'll start going up and then you'll know you're ready. You'll also feel the air coming out of the outlet. Right here we have our leak size indicator. So this little bubble will kind of rise and drop depending if you have a leak or you don't have a leak. Right here we have the smoke control valve if you want more or less smoke. Over here, we got two buttons on the bottom. Uh, we got just the air and as well as a smoke button. So you could actually use just compressed air into the system if you're not trying to smoke it out. But I'll show you all that in a little bit. Coming here on the left side, we got the adapters. This one, pretty sure it's, so you have like a oversized hose or something. Honestly, not 100% sure on that one, but this one's really nice. This one is the one that you can shove into the gas cap port see if you have a fuel tank leak somewhere say a cracked fuel tank or something like that as well as this one it's inflatable so we'll go ahead and tighten it this one is for if you're checking for either an exhaust leak or you're trying to look for a leak inside the intake you can put this right in the intake tube fill it up to how big you want it to or the exhaust pipe then you'll go ahead and shove the smoke machine port into here. It'll emit smoke from here and fill up whatever your sy whatever system you're trying to test. So today we're going to be testing on my girlfriend's Mazda 3. So this vehicle has no leaks or anything like that, but I just want to show you. I'll maybe even create some leaks so you guys can see and show you the quality of this product. Because really, guys, I'm actually quite impressed for how small it is. And it's also in compared to 
big name brands, you're looking at like $1,000 or something for a smoke machine. This little guy right here for 200 around there. Really a good deal. So let's plug it in and check it out. All right, so we got the car all hooked up. Really simple. Obviously, power cable just goes straight to the battery. And we got the hose right here. I went ahead and disconnected the purge valve. And we can go ahead and test the back end of the EVAP system as well as the intake side over here. See if we had any intake manifold leaks, which we don't on this car, unfortunately, but I can at least show you guys an example. So I'll go ahead and turn the compressor on. Let's see right now, obviously, thinks there's a big leak. Go ahead and put our finger on the... Focus. See it drop down. So pretty accurate, I would say. Let's go ahead and put the smoke on. And let me tell you guys, this thing puts out a lot of smoke. Like it actually surprised me because I thought like, you know, this little inexpensive smoker wasn't going to do that much, but it puts out a whole lot more smoke than our like snap on smoke tester at work at the dealership. So you guys can see right here, that is a lot of smoke. Let's go ahead and put it, hook it up to one of the lines. Also, definitely do this in a little outdoor area. You can see it's crazy smoked up in here already. Might have to turn on the fan. It should go away. But right now, I have it plugged into the intake. This hose goes right into the throttle body and then basically to the intake manifold. So pretty much if you were to have any vacuum leaks on the intake side, you would kind of see smoke popping out. Usually it helps if you get like a flashlight because you kind of like put it on the side and see if any smoke's kind of hovering out of there. I mean, like I said, this car has no leaks, but you kind of see it coming out of the intake right now, just because it's already pressurized this whole area. It's starting to come back through the throttle body, through the air filter. I'm sure if we open this up. I mean, again, that's normal though, because the smoke is gonna bypass through the throttle body plate. It's not completely sealed when it, Look at that, dude. Look at how much smoke. Oh my goodness. Go ahead and turn it down. Okay, well testing the back of the EVAP system is kind of pointless since it is not leaking. So we'll go ahead and go to the exhaust side, which I found was pretty interesting. It was able to reach all the way around here. Go ahead and turn it on. Get the system pressurized. Right here with the exhaust adapter. Pumped it up a couple times. And we got the hose right in there. So that was pretty cool, at least on a compact car, you're gonna have enough room. So we got this smoke in. If you were looking for an exhaust leak, you can go ahead and just plug it in there. And obviously you would have the car jacked up, but you can go around inspecting the exhaust, looking for a leak. Say maybe you're getting like a lean mixture or O2 fault, because you had an exhaust leak before one of the oxygen sensors. This would be very helpful. Uh, last but not least, we'll go ahead and plug in the gas cap adapter. We got that plugged in, and this fuel cap fitting isn't going to do us much good. <laughs> All right, so overall, really great product. You guys saw the smoke output. I mean, of course, it would have been nice if I had a problem car to show you, like an actual EVAP leak to show you the real potential of it. But I mean, you guys get the point. If you're in the market for a smoke smoke tester, you probably already know what you're doing. So really just wanted to show off the product and show off its capabilities, features, stuff like that. And overall satisfied with it. So if I had to recommend it to a friend, I would recommend it to a friend. A lot of people at the shop, when I whipped it out and was kind of showing little demos at work, they were pretty impressed, mainly for the small size and how much smoke output you get. Like it's really ridiculous. Like it fogged up the whole garage pretty much you guys saw within like a couple minutes. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, feel free to drop it in the comments. I tried to get back to as much of you as I can. So. That pretty much sums up today's episode. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup.